Hey everybody, we're gonna do another walkthrough again today. We're rapid firing them. All right, in our typical Intech video fashion, we're gonna start on the inside. One thing, this is the biggest front U-shaped dinette that they've got with that panoramic window here on the absolutely stunning. You've got big windows on each side as well. And again, tabletop, twist it around, sit it however you want to sit it. I love it. I love it. Um, soft close on all your cabinet doors and drawers. These will hold themselves open. There is only one that won't hold itself open. I'll show you that one. Um, it's going to be for uh, your battery disconnect and your breaker box. Roller shades as well. Always a great feature on these Intex. You've got tons of storage, by the way. I mean, I, I could go on and on and on with the storage with these Intex, but I don't want you guys to be here all night. I want you guys to get out and come check one of these out for yourselves. So while we're over here, we're gonna check it out. This is the one compartment overhead that will not hold itself open. Breakers here on the left in the center, more or less. And then this is gonna be your battery disconnect right here. You got your TV. Um, you've got more storage in this little hutch here with a cabinet inner drawer that pulls out. You've got one power vent fan here in your living room, right above that dinette, swing up to it. This guy, and that's gonna be controlled, this one right next to the door. Now, before we hit the rest of the inside, I'm gonna to touch base on this real quick. You've got your Girard wind sensing automatic awning. Now, regardless of what you read on the internet, just because it's wind sensing doesn't mean you should leave it out all the time. If you get a strong enough wind gust, your awning's a goner. Let's just face it. Let's call a spade a spade. Anytime that you step away from your camper, bring the awning in. It's as simple as pressing close and off or just in. I mean, it, it's, it's that easy. Close and off, turns your light off, runs your awning in, you're done. If you've got it out and you step away for a little bit or, you know, you gotta use the restroom and a little wind gust comes in and rattles it, sends your awning in, great. But if you get a big wind gust, I mean, it's a giant kite. It's gonna take your awning and it's not gonna be a good time. So I'm always gonna recommend put that awning in if you know wind is coming and anytime you're not at your camper. Now, while we're still here, cabinet lights, dinette, main lights, front accent, and then the porch light. Um, I turned it off because it's actually really bright out there and leaves a glare on my camera. Um, you have multiple spots throughout the camper that you can turn off these lights. Uh, you've got multiple spots for your kitchen, multiple spots for your main light, multiple spots for your bedroom as well. Outlets, USBs here. Um, let's move on. Single AC unit on this guy. You've got uh, aluminum ducting that's gonna go through. Let me close these guys. Um, you've got two of these on the other side in your bedroom as well. That AC unit itself does have a direct drop to it. This guy, slide it open, whoop, slide it open, and it'll dump air straight down. Cold air return is gonna be right here. This can pop off and will pop off when you need to clean your filter. Rinse that bad boy off, let it dry off, and then you can pop it back in. Right over here, radio. Um, radio with Bluetooth. You've also got all your sensors. So water pump, tank heater, line heater. Now you do have um, 12 volt line heaters as well as 12 volt tank heaters. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can actually see that. That is an awesome feature. There's not many that are gonna be giving you tank heaters, let alone 12 volt line heaters. Absolutely awesome. Up here is gonna be how you read your battery. Um, all your tanks for your water, uh, black, gray, the whole nine yards. Now, battery's going to read full right now. I've got this plugged into shore power. If you had just a battery on there, it's going to tell you your battery level. Before we hit the bedroom, because how cool does that look? This is one of the few Intex that does not have a wet bath. Uh, you've got your square LED lighting around that power vent fan in here. That's a normal 12 volt vent fan, not like the max air fan that's in the kitchen or the max air fan that's in your bedroom, but you've still got enough to ventilate the bathroom for you. Overhead storage, you got a towel rack, you've still got your roller shades, stainless steel sink with more storage. You've got two little nooks here and a storage underneath. GFI outlet right here. Sorry, this is a um, a 
weird angle for me to take on the camera, and then toilet paper holder. Porcelain stool as well. Now, on your shower, big window there. Oops, will get me out of the shot, huh? Um, waterproof area for storage, you know, shampoos, brushes, whatever you gotta put in there, go for it. Again, with the awesome lighting, it really does make it super bright in here. I don't think the camera is gonna do it enough justice. Adjustable shower head, um, soap holder as well, and um, this can be removed, I'm sorry. This can be removed if you need to use it as just a spray nozzle instead of just as a shower head. You can do either or. Uh, you've also got little pegs in each corner here where you can hang up stuff if you need to put your towel, um, you know, loofahs, whatever you need in the shower, they've got space for it. You've got a uh, waterproof light switch in here. Absolutely a necessity when you have um, no curtain, just the door. So it's sealed um, two different ways here. Interior trim, sorry, let me back up. Interior trim and the upper trim, just like on your door here. You're not gonna have any issues with water coming out of there. All right, one more thing that I'm gonna hit before we go into the bedroom, 12 volt fridge. Everybody is going to these 12 volt fridges. I absolutely love them. You can run them while you're going down the road still. They're deeper because there's no cooling fins and they get cold faster. Plus, because they're such um, a common practice now in the RV industry, I don't wanna say they're a dime a dozen because they're not necessarily a dime a dozen, but there's a lot more of them on the market. So if you have an issue and you absolutely have to have it replaced, you'll be able to find something. Let's swing around here. How cool is this accent lighting in here? I don't have any of the overhead lighting on right now. As you can see, all the blue lighting still bright enough. If you wanna sit here with this and just read, most people say probably shouldn't have blue light before you go to bed, but man, I think I would. Um, you can do that. You have no problem. Now, we're going to go to a previous comment I made. Multiple spots where you can turn on and off the lights. Bedroom lights, cabinet accent, that's your blue lights, and then your main lights. I can turn off the rest of the coach from here, too. This is going to be your thermostat. Uh, AC and heat both controlled from here, and here is that second max air fan. Overhead overhead storage here, I'm sorry, overhead here, and nice big wardrobe on this one with hooks. Now you're still gonna get your soft clothes on these as well. Storage cubbies on both, and drawers on each end, as well as side cabinets and overhead storage. There's gonna be that max air fan, more cubbies. There's one of these on each side, as well as your roller shades. Now over here, outlets and USB on each side, but on your right hand side, so your driver's side of the camper, you can hit your bedroom lights from here so you don't have to get out of bed. It's not two vents, like I mentioned, my apologies. It's just one big one, that's still your AC vent though. If you need to, you can use those screws. What is it, six of them, pull those off and you can clean that out if you really need to. Most of the time it's not gonna be too dirty though. One thing I actually really like on this pocket door, I'm gonna sit down so I can kind of get a better look at it for you. It's really just a nice setup. It's on a robust track, track, goodness. Uh, it looks really clean and you've got a really solid travel lock for it with a magnetic catch. So that comes off and goodness, um, it's not going anywhere. Nice clean slide mechanism. And, uh, it, it, you know, it just, it just works. I absolutely love these Intex. I, I just, I can't talk enough about them. So let me get this put back in place and then we're going to hit the outside. All right. Goodness. Um, oh. Well, there we go. Uh, so you can see in there, all of your hose go straight into it. And it actually is just an ingenious design. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about it. I wish more manufacturers would do it this way. You've got more storage in the back that I've got blocked with the box unintentionally. Um, Intech always gives us a little heads up on where they put all the extras. 
microwave, um, spinning plate, the griddle cooktop, any of the odds and ends stuff usually is in a box and it's in one spot and they write on a piece of paper on the camper, hey, here's where all your stuff is, here's how you find it. One other thing, this is pretty deep. Um, you do have your front bug screen on there. That's that black cover that snaps on the front. I'll show you that here real quick. Um, when we swing back around, sewer hose storage and a dump station, both right here, all right next to each other. Super easy access. You do the aluminum uh, bumper on the back as well. That is part of the Rover package there. They're manual stabilizer jacks, stabilizer jack only. Crank them down enough so that it's touching, but they're not load bearing, so be careful. Backup camera prep on the back as well. Uh, that's for a Magnadyne camera. And now we've got the awesome outside kitchen. So this guy right here, this extra countertop, this is going to actually come mounted on top of that. You don't even have to take it with if you don't want to, that can still go in without it. But this can mount over top of the, your 12 volt fridge freezer and slide it in and it fits, it's no problem. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good video, good shot of it. Here we go. So these, these little pegs here, these are mounted to the sidewall itself of the camper. That's what these mount on. And then you've just got prep space out here. It's really super handy. <clears throat> Flat cooktop, kind of like a like a Blackstone, uh, cast iron. I mean, it's gonna cook just like that. Most um, most campers are going with something like this, a little drip tray too, uh, super convenient. I like, to, I like eggs and bacon in the morning, easiest way to do it there. So with this, you've actually got a good fair bit of space in here. Now, again, camera's never gonna do it justice. Um, I don't know what your actual capacity is off the cuff. So I'm sorry for that. But I do know that this can get down to 32 degrees. So if you wanna put your popsicles out here, no problem, be totally fine. Outlets out here as well. If you've got something that you wanna hook up here to cook, crock pot while you're serving up stuff in the morning, you can hook it up right here, be no problem. Another part of the off-road package, uh, the Rover package, I'm sorry, is the off-road tires. You get an extra three inches of lift with these. Um, three inches of ground clearance that is. Again, more outlets out front. Let's see eight. I'm gonna link a ton of information on the Terra in the description, as well as a way um, to check it out on our website if you just wanna see pictures and you don't wanna hear me talk anymore. Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day.